popcorn. We've been watching you like some sweet potatoes all up in the What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of AZN Kitchen. So we know a lot of you guys out there watching have been to boba shops, have been to bubble tea cafes, or in some way been living the boba life. Guess what? Today we're going to bring the boba shop into the AZN Kitchen and we're going to make things organic. organic. We got to be honest guys, we are not making this food on our own. We have enlisted the help of our healthy food expert friend, Olivia Kuhn. Hi guys! You may know me on social media as Love Health OK. I make all kinds of comfort foods healthy. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make organic milk tea, organic popcorn chicken, and of course, organic sweet potato fries. Oh, AZN Kitchen, Kitchen, let's go. I'm super excited because I've had boba many, many, many a time in my life, but I have never even attempted to make it before. We're gonna be using an organic black tea bag, and all you're gonna do is steep your tea. These are raw, dry boba. Can we eat them? It doesn't taste very good. Take it as a challenge. Oh! oh. Mm, that is disgusting. <laughs> Today we're using coconut sugar. Sugar. Nobody wants sticky boba. Nobody wants clumpy boba. Nobody wants clicky boba. So we're making a simple syrup. Yep. Okay, I can smell it. And now they're in that chilled simple syrup. Not Yo, that's tasty. <laughs> boba spillage. Put some ice in. You gotta get organic ice frozen from organic water. Organic vanilla soy creamer. Mixing it all up. Cheers. Cheers. Yo, I'm getting that feeling. That's pretty good. It doesn't taste like boba at the boba shop, but it's good and it definitely gives you that healthy feeling. Next up is the popcorn chicken. We're actually gonna be baking it today. We're healthifying it. Your chicken breast is definitely gonna be a lot leaner than chicken thighs. Would you say that eating chicken thighs leads to having gigantic thighs? So, I don't know, does that mean eating chicken breast leads to larger breasts? Ooh. Liquid aminos what? is a healthier version of soy sauce. Don't you stop right there. Is it made by these two white people? No, that's soy sauce, uh, yes. The first step, what we're gonna do is marinate our chicken. Oh! Oh, oh. oh. There we go. Okay. While we're waiting for this, let's move on to the sweet potato fries. Popcorn. We've been watching you like some sweet potatoes all up in the kitchen. Oh! Uh, yeah. Pat them down. Pat them down. We're gonna stop and frisk them. Frisk them all over. In between uh, all the uh -oh. corners. Uh-oh. Drizzle some onto the french fry. Hashtag cook Asian food at home and chill. Oh! The next step is we're gonna season it. And then we're gonna toss it. Separate them. Wow. Like this. So now we're coming back to the popcorn chicken that was marinating. Chicken into almond meal, into organic eggs, into panko breadcrumbs. And those are organic eggs. Is that oh. why they look like a chicken? Making popcorn chicken is a lot of work, right. and this is why I pay someone else to do it for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to put the basil in five minutes before it's done. We're going to take out our sweet potato fries so we can flip them. Oh! Right. Yo, I'm not even going to lie. Those look like the fried sweet potato fries at the boba shop. So what we want to do now is season it a little bit. Let's get our chicken, guys. Oh, gee. Why do you say chicken in Chinese? Shit. Shit. Yeah. Oh! Hold up! Uh, this was baked. The sweet potato fries were baked. Not fried. Very healthy. Baked. Not fake. Organic. Forced. Manic. The baggies and the sticks, you guys. Nice. All right, guys. Let's do this. I feel like I'm at a boba spot right now. Like right. Guan Ling. Ha <laughs> ha! Guan Ying Guan Ling. That's what they say at Tenron. The, the moment, moment of, of truth. truth. Mm. Good. Wow. I will be completely honest. The spices are on point. It's really tasty. It doesn't taste exactly like the popcorn chicken at the spot. It's actually a new flavor to me, and I like it. It tastes like maybe like 50% like the fried popcorn chicken, but the other 50% that makes up the flavor profile is still really good. Yeah. yeah. It's crispy. I'm feeling it. No, that chicken's not dry. You know, fries need to be fried. The moment of truth, you guys. That actually tastes pretty similar. With sweet potato fries, it's not about the frying, it's actually about the sweet potato. And baked that. sweet potato fries are a direct substitute for fried sweet potato fries. I can yeah. see that. So you guys witnessed it from beginning to end. And there was two new things for me today. One was even cooking these at all. I never cooked boba and things like that. And number two, to cook them healthy and organic, 
that blew my mind. Chinese style food, it is definitely known to be kind of greasy. But you were able to take that out, keep the flavor. In fact, sometimes bring in a new flavor. It's not about being 100% clean or anything like that. It's about eating your favorite foods, still enjoying it and being healthy at the same time. You are breaking stereotypes. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of AZN Kitchen featuring Olivia Koo. In the comments below, be sure to let us know what you thought about her recipe. Check out her channel and also let us know what other foods you'd like to see organicized, healthified. Make sure you leave those comments in the section below and until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace. Hey, it's Olivia of Love Health OK, and you guys should check out my channel if you want more healthified recipes. And I've done a ton of super fun fall recipes for you guys, as well as winter recipes, all kinds of goodies on my channel, so go check it out, and let me know that the fun bro sent you. Also, follow her on Instagram right below as well. How do we say, how do we say eat healthy foods in Shanghainese? Chilla 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 Chilla